We rolled it. My name is Ethan Washington, class of 2026. I threw the 400, the 800, 4 by 4 4 by 2 4 by 8 Okay, hold up back there for me. Eating ready to go, baby. Eating is on senior day today, and uh, it's, it's senior day, and they really getting after it. Um, my coach, my name is Big Coach Leonard Park, and we on location at Glen Oaks High School, where this past Saturday, these young men right here won the outdoor state championship. Now, they also won the indoor state championship. That means they pulled a double. Uh, coach, how you feel about your state championship? Coach Johnny Duncan's here. How you feel about your state championship, Coach? Coach, I, I don't even have words to explain how good I feel right about now. I mean, a, a relief is one thing because I was stressing so bad mm. uh, from indoor to outdoor because it's hard to come indoor and win and then duplicate it outdoor because you add more events to the outdoors and, it, you know, Thins your, uh, thins your athletes out. So I really didn't know we was gonna pull off the victory like we did in that type of fashion. And, and when you, and coach, when you say that type of fashion, uh, tell me if I'm wrong, but the, the rumor mill that I heard was y'all had this thing by the 200 meters. It was over. It was, it was over before that. You know. Yeah. Uh, in my eyes, the way I have things mapped out, it really was over with after the long jump, and that was maybe mm. one of the first events of the day. But when we finished first and second in the long jump, we never trailed throughout the whole day. We stayed in front, stayed in first place. All we had to do then was just place. Place. And we Not placed everybody, everybody that made it to state placed in state, either fourth place or better. That's a dominating performance. And y'all won it by over 20 points, am I right? We won by 17, actually. 17. Oh, great. Well, we're going to start. Seniors, could y'all raise my hand, seniors? So we got four seniors here, and they we got to get them back to their senior day because they they haven't bought. They got barbecues, they got space walks, they got all kind of uh, water guns and everything. They they having some good fun. But we are gonna start to my right, and we are gonna go with uh and, and say your name, say what uh, things that you uh, did at state, and then say what's something that really touched you this year, either indoor, outdoor, or both. My name is Ethan Washington, class of twenty twenty six. I do the eight hundred, the four by four. So you're a sophomore? Yes, sir. Ooh, you got two more years. Yes, so next year going to be your leadership year. Yes, sir. You know, juniors and seniors got to be the leader. Yes, sir. That's all right. All right, we're going to our next guy. Marcus Young, 110 hurdle, 300 hurdle, long jump, triple jump. Watch out now. Fans of 2025. And yeah, I'm just proud that we did it. We uh, started off last year. You know, we just had to get better by the day. Just continue to work, continue to come out here and grind, trusting the trusting God. And we got two of them back to back, so we just blessed. Hey, so tell me this. I just told Coach Duncan say, y'all got one two in a in a long jump. Yeah. Well, well, you one of them guys, right? Oh, no, sir. That was Chris Jackson. And, uh, okay. Chris All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, we gonna we gonna get him in a few minutes. Tell me them times in that what, one uh, one hundred uh, hurdle and a three hundred hurdle. I hope I ain't putting you on the spot now. Oh no, you ain't putting me on the spot. Uh, I ran like a 15, 15, 7. Uh, really, my first year on the hurdle, so I was uh, slipped off the block a little bit. But I'm gonna continue to get better over the summer. Work on my gotta work on. How, how tall you are? I'm 6'1", actually. 6'1", you walking over them hurdles, ain't you? Yeah. You, you, you ain't jumping them hurdles, you I'm walking over them hurdles. I'm oh, oh I can see. And you got another year. Yes, Watch sir. out, another sneaky leader for next year. Yes, Watch out, next year looking bad already. All right, my man, on, on you, um, my long jumper. Uh, Darius Groves, class of 2024. Watch out, now see. I do long jump, 4x1, four 4x2, four four, no, and a 4x4. Four four. Mm -hmm. And I'm just blessed to do it with my brothers or something. You know, we put in a lot of work. Yeah. What's that long jump, man? Can you give me uh, that long jump distance? Uh, and what place you got in state? I came in first in state. Watch out now. My long jump was uh, 22, 22.5. Watch out now. But for state, I did a 21. Right, right. So, 22. You know, I got a lot to work on. It's Still right. working. It's all right. One, we, one, one second, Coach. Go ahead on, bro. Uh, Darius is being a little modest. Mm. Going into the finals, Darius was in seventh place. He barely made the finals. He barely made the finals. They took seven out of seven. Whoa. So he was the number one I see what is going already. His last jump, his last jump, he took first place from seventh to first place on his last jump. So uh. to do that at a state meet, mm. to put us, and we actually was winning the 
long jump with Chris Jackson. So we was first and seventh. And Darius on his last jump took the first place and, and Chris couldn't duplicate it. So we ended up still finishing first and second. <laughs> As a coach, I didn't care who won. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted the points. But to do that on your last jump and you're a senior, it's real big. Got it. You would have took first and six. Oh, that oh. means both of them would have scored. And, we still, and you went from se first and seventh to one, two. Second, one, two. That's 18. That's 18 points. That's like two events. Y'all turned one event into two mm -hmm. events. I, I can imagine how you felt as a coach right there, basically saying he gonna remember that for his rest of life. Yes, he gonna remember what you did for the rest of life. That ain't normal what that happened. Go from seventh to first in one jump, and then you gave him ten points, and and his and your teammate got eight. Wow. He just I gotta give you one. I gotta give you one. This this is my trademark. Ooh wee. He a bad boy. He a bad boy. Great job, son. Uh, go on, my man right here. I'm the ride along class of 2024. Finishing the 100, 200. I hope I ain't putting you on the spot. The one, you, you, you placed the 100, 200. How you finished? The one, I, I came in second. You know, I lost. So they had motivated me to run a 47. In my one, I mean, my 400, I came first place. And my 200, I came 21 and 1. And I came first place too. Okay, I'm going to say this. I'm a track coach. I'm a 20 year, 30 year veteran track coach. 49s get scholarships some places, 48s get scholarships at mid majors. 47 get scholarships at major D1. And you just say you ran a 47? Yes, sir. So you, that 100 made you mad. Yeah, it made me very angry. And what, Coach, what was his time in that 100? 10.75. 10.7, okay, all right. Man, and you had ran 10.5 early this year. Yes, sir. I understand why. I understand why. But good. Man, just, just a great job. Thanks. Ooh, wee. Another bad boy. Another <laughs> bad boy. Okay, great job, great job. Yeah, he's still being modest, Coach. Come here, help, he help was, it, John. He was athlete of the meet by winning the 200, 400, and anchoring the, the winning 4 by 200 meter, not anchoring, he ran on the winning 4 by 200 meter relay. So he acquired, uh, I think it was 28 and a half or something like that. And he, uh, you no know, matter of fact, he's 30 and a half points, which made him the MVP of the meet. Went out, went out with a bang. Went out with a bang. And help lead his team. I already asked this guy in all the interview before. I said, how did you do? He said, I did real well, coach. And uh, tell me how you did real well. Uh, my name is Darius Reed, class of 2024. I'm a senior. Um, I do whatever my coach asks me to do, honestly, from the one to the eight. Mm. I do the 300 hurdles as well. But uh, for state, I ran the four by two and the four by four. I anchored on the four by two, which we won with a time of 126. Right there. So, um, Really going into outdoor season after our indoor state championship, we knew it was going to be a challenge because how bad we was, you know, leaving people in indoor and they had a chip on their shoulder. But we also had a chip on our shoulder as well, and that caused us to work and push our body to its limits. And because of how hard we worked, we came outdoor with um, the same mindset, killer mindset. And from the first event in outdoor, we just did what we had to do and we came up with the victory. You hold any other titles at Glen Oaks, sir? Yes, sir. I'm the um, Glen Oaks Student of the Year, Mr. Glen Oaks, uh, Palm King, you know. Ooh, wee! Another bad boy. Another bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all ain't see, I'm doing this for a reason, but y'all gotta find a connect. And we'll, if y'all don't find a connect, I'm gonna connect it for y'all. Keep on going down that line to Mr. Guy in the red sweater, showing his Glen Oaks color. Katron Hargrove, class of 2025. I run the 100, the 200, the 400, 4x4, four four, and the 4x2. Four and the 4x1. Watch out now. All purpose. They call that multi purpose guy. You're the utility guy. You do it all. Go ahead on, my man. You know, I feel, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about indoor and outdoor. You know, indoor, we won it. You know, God was really on our side, so we made sure we came outdoor with. You know, we made sure it wasn't even close, and that's exactly what we did. We won by 17 points, like Coach said, but I really can't explain, you know, how, how to feel about this. Mm -hmm. you know, man, I just love my teammates. That's all right. Now tell me this, Mr. Hargrove. Um, what, what, what events you did in, in state? I ran the um, 4x2, the open 4, and the 4x4. Four four. And did you, did you place in that open 4? 
I came in second right behind my teammate Ron Jerome with a 48. Wait, wait, wait. He got first at 47. You got 48 in second. Another 18 points. Yeah. Well, we came. We made sure we set the whole meet down. Man, y'all gonna wear it out. Ooh wee! Man, if I'm a coach and I get 18 points in two events, that's like five events. Y'all turn two events into five events before a score. Great job, Mr. Hargrove. Great job. And our last, uh, my la our last track at it. Aaron Johnson, Jr. Class 2024. I run an open four and a four by four. Open four? All right. What you did at state, my man? I ran a uh, third level four by four. All right. All right. What place y'all getting at? Third. Third. Okay. What y'all time at? Remember your time? Three twenty-two. Yeah, three twenty-two. Okay. So, so tell me something, John. And we getting back with. Do we think we gonna get in it, guys, in the top thirty, in the top twenty in the nation? And I'm, I'm thinking one that at, at 226 in the 4x2. You think they're going to? That 126. Yeah, you think it's going to? We, we could have ran a little faster. Um, we really could go 125 in the 4x2. I mean, we still, the tone exchange is still kind of slow. Mm -hmm. We're not stretching the zones in there. So, I mean, it's a lot of room for improve, improvement. So, I mean, that the 4x4, four four, we hadn't ran our real 4x4 four four since indoor, really. Mm. You know, if we really put our four fastest on the 4x4, four four, we'll run 316, 315. I got, I got a, a 47 and a 48 yes, and 49. I, I got knew, it. I got it. I, got I it. know You're we right. can, but for, for state purposes, I knew I was going to have to spread out some athletes to yes. maximize my points. So I know I couldn't load up on the relays because that's just one event. That's right. So I wanted to get multiple events. I wanted to win multiple events. So I, you know, I sacrificed the time. Right. And a place on a relay to get first and second in open individuals, and that's you know that's basically what I do. Like I always say, it's, it's chess, not checkers. Yeah. So everybody wanna come out there and wanna break records in the relay, but you're not holding up the goal at the end of the track meet. Y'all scored just, just the two events. I don't know how many other events where y'all y'all double scored. That's the only meet, two. That, but but that's special. So that's you know that's a, that's 36 points right there. Then you follow. Sometimes uh, 36 point wins state, John. <laughs> Thanks we, scored, we scored 80. Yeah. We wanted to make sure it was out of reach. No if, ands, and buts. No, I need to dis be disqualified to win. None of that. And that mile relay, what place they play? They placed third in the mile relay. Right. But like I said, I sacrificed and I let, you know, a couple of my seniors that didn't run, was hurt early on in the year, that wanted to take them out with a bang. So I'm like, okay, we already won. Let him go it on and get on that. Let's, let's, let's have some fun with this one. That's it. And, uh, and guys, I'm gonna say, y'all look at what y'all was saying, my brothers, and and, and what y'all got here is something special, man. You know, because one, you can have a track athlete that's real special, that's getting first, but when y'all got multiple guys, and he said y'all scored in every event y'all was in, that means when you get those kind of guys, those kind of situations, and they come together like this, and you got teammates, not only do you carry your load, but your teammates carrying their load too. Y'all got a special group here. Y'all got a special group here. And uh, look, when y'all see each other in Walmart 20, 30 years from now, y'all ain't gonna have to say nothing to each other. Y'all just gonna smile. And y'all gonna be like, that's a bad boy. That smile gonna say, I'm looking at a bad boy, and he looking at a bad boy. And uh, I just like to congratulate y'all. Johnny, what you think the, uh, for the future, man? Uh, you got well, posted, you losing, you losing a lot, but you still got a lot. I always told him, this team here, and I'm 20 plus, <clears throat> 20 plus years coaching myself. Yes. And I've never had a team like this. Mm -hmm. That's what I tried so, to Yep. To come back next year, and I told Patron, he has to be the leader with the best time, the fastest time. Mark coming back with the hurdles. You know, they got to, we got to get the team back. It's hard yeah. to replace 64 points yes, from sir. the senior class. Yeah. It is hard to do that. But can we? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, because when I first came here, they said we couldn't win. <clears throat> well, we dominated basically to me for two, both years. Right. We started last year, and people started noticing. Spring this year, we just and we get blessed with Ethan and blessed with Darius Gross to transfer here out the blue. That's these points wouldn't count, mm -hmm. you know. But then you get blessed like that. Who knows what I'm gonna get blessed with next year? That's you know, I already got win that people want to come because we do it the right way. So when there's no win of situation, there's no tricks. We out here, we work hard. Every time we come to practice, there's no no days off, rain, sleet, or snow. We, we got to get it. And this is the end of result right here. You know, so I told them, 
early on. Y'all might be mad at me now, but y'all gonna love me in May. Mm -hmm. And May 3rd, after it was over with, they couldn't help but love me because we sitting there holding the hardware in February and in May. And ain't too many teams can really do that. Y'all agree with that guy? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Look, 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 look. Ain't no, ain't no hesitation. Yeah. We got an indoor, indoor state championship right here on my right. We got an outdoor state championship on my left. We on location at Glen Oaks High. Well, these young men that pulled a double on, they didn't want the indoor state championship and the outdoor state championship. We hope and pray. I talked to these young men on my TV show. I hope and pray that some of them go on to the next level and do some big things involving track and field. One thing about me and Coach uh, Duncan that we have in common that you ain't gonna see too many African-American coaches, me being a retired coach. Coach jo Duncan was a decathlete and I was a decathlete. You don't see too many black brothers do that. And if y'all don't know what decathlete is, look it up. That's hmm. 10 events, 10 events in a two day period. Five one day, five another day. We do it all and we know how to coach it all. And I'm so proud of this brother and so proud of y'all. Y'all keep up y'all good work in the future. Yes, this is sir. Big Coach Leonard Parker on location at Glen Oaks High and I'm signing off. All right, y'all hold it for one minute. Let me cut this thing off. Hold it for one minute, I gotta cut it off.